lamb chops, always a crowd pleaser, but elevate your lamb game by making a chef's dream an entire juicy rack of lamb. Hey everyone, my name is Ben and welcome back to Impossibly Kosher, the one channel dedicated to sharing incredible, delicious recipes from all over the globe and sharing them in the authentic and classic way to make them. Today, we're gonna to be making an entire delicious rack of lamb. That's right, I'm gonna show you how to prepare it, how to clean it, how to French it, to marinate it and to cook it so that it comes out to that perfect medium, medium rare with an end result so juicy and tender that you won't even believe that it's meat. Before jumping into it, here's the most annoying part of the video. Go ahead, give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and ring the bell to keep up with all the videos that we have going on. It really helps us out and supports us in a big way. I'd like to thank my local butcher, Mike the Butcher, located right here in Montreal for sponsoring this video. Mike was generous and kind enough to share today's cut and I'm really excited to show you how incredible it comes out. The thing that I love about Mike the Butcher is they have all kinds of incredible pre-seasoned raw and cooked meat, full meals, they have a catering service. Go ahead, check out their link. I'm gonna leave it in the description below. All right, now when you get your rack of lamb from your butcher, make sure to ask that it's already Frenched. Otherwise, you're gonna have a little bit more work to do. Nonetheless, most butchers won't French it completely. Frenching it means that you'll have the nice clean bones throughout. A lot of the time, you'll end up having a little bit of meat and silver skin left, but not to worry, I'm gonna show you how to clean that out. Now it's really important to make sure that as much of it is gone as possible, because when you're roasting that lamb, it's going to burn those little bits, causing a lot of smoke and an unpleasant aesthetic look. To clean it, it's really simple. Start off with a paring knife and scraping the meat, fat, and silver skin off of the bones as much as you can. And when you're finally tired of scraping, go ahead and get a clean cloth, use it to pull off any remnants of meat, silver skin, or anything that's stuck onto the bones. The clean cloth makes it much easier to remove the remnants. And when you're done, your bones should look like this. Perfectly clean, not a trace left on them. Now that is a clean cut. A lot of people like to add on all kinds of crazy ingredients and spices on their lamb. Lamb is best when kept simple. So we're gonna use fresh thyme, some fresh rosemary, tons of garlic, the more the merrier, salt and pepper. That's it, keeping it simple. Trust me, it's worth it. Start off by chopping the herbs and chopping up the garlic. Chop up your herbs and garlic and set them to the side. We're gonna start off by layering the lamb with a bit of olive oil. The olive oil acts as a binder to help all those incredible spices and flavors stick onto the lamb instead of ending up on your tray. After the oil, add some salt, the spices and rub, and followed by some freshly ground black pepper. I always make sure to use an internal probe to make sure that the internal temperature is perfect every single time. And that's really how you guarantee that your cook is right. Get the probe all the way to the center of the rack. That way it gives a nice and accurate read. Now that it's spiced up, let it sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes. This will allow all those flavors to start penetrating deeper into the lamb. And as you set it to the side, go ahead and preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna start off by roasting this bad boy. Now, while you wait for your oven to preheat and the meat to marinate, go ahead, sit on the couch and relax. Take a load off. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know how we're doing. How do you like this video so far? Do you like things done a little bit differently? Let us know. And of course, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Now, after doing all that, you for sure have some time left over. So go ahead and check out how we make our prime rib rack. This is one of my favorite recipes. Oven is ready, time for the lamb to go in. Now set your internal temperature probe to a target of 125 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That way you guarantee a nice medium or medium rare. At 450 degrees Fahrenheit, you're roasting the meat. Now the outer layer is gonna have a beautiful crust to it and a beautiful color. So we don't wanna leave it for more than 10 to 15 minutes on 450. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with an uneven cook throughout the lamb. The outer layer will be overcooked and the center will be that perfect medium rare. So after about 10 to 15 minutes, lower your heat to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm at about 80 degrees, so I'm gonna leave it to continue to cook until the internal temperature probe hits my target. 129 and 130, done. Let's get that meat out of the oven right away. As you open up the oven, you may even notice that smoke starts to come out. This is why it was so important to clean those bones very, very well. 
take the lamb out and let it rest for a good 10 to 15 minutes. The internal temperature will continue to rise due to the residual heat. The juices will redistribute throughout the meat. You'll be left with a succulent and perfectly tasting rack of lamb. Now, while it's resting, I really can't go too far. I'm literally staring at this piece of meat right now, watching it rest. I can't wait to cut into it because it looks incredible. The house smells incredibly fragrant and delicious. And I am so excited to see how that inside came out. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Look at that perfect cook. Those juices are just oozing out of that meat. Incredible fatty marbling, a mouth-watering fragrance and aroma, and just the perfect cook on the inside. Now, I can't wait for the next part. Okay, I waited, I let it rest, I cut it open, and now for my favorite part, the taste test. Let's do the taste test. Let's see how the lamb chops from Mike the Butcher come out. Oh, smell incredible. How do you know lamb chops are delicious? When you bite in and the juice just fills your mouth. You don't want it ever to be overcooked because you lose all the benefits of the fatty lamb. This is incredible. Keeping it simple, salt, pepper, a couple spices and garlic, absolutely delicious. Medium rare, perfect on the inside, no complaints at all. And what's nice is that the bone, after cleaning it nicely, it doesn't burn, it doesn't have little crisps all over. Mm. Perfect. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and ring that bell. And don't forget to check out Mike the Butcher if you're located in Montreal. I'm gonna leave their information in the description down below. Thanks so much guys, and we'll see you in the next video.